Hello, what is up YouTube? G3Iron here with another PoE Tools uh, video that we are checking out the Path of Building tool today. I've been really excited to show this tool off. Uh, many of you that are veterans to PoE know about this tool, but maybe if you're new to PoE this league uh, or you've been playing for a while but you've been looking for uh, really an ability to mess around with theory crafting and build ideas and build options or even copy and pasting somebody else's build and following it to the letter, uh, or maybe adjusting and tweaking somebody else's build that they've come up with and adding your own flavor to it. Path of Building offers all of those things. So today we're just gonna look at three quick things. There are several other content creators that have done uh, better walkthroughs of how to set up Path of Building and get into all the nitty gritty, but today I just wanna show you three things about how Path of Building offers an accurate DPS calculator. Uh, it offers a character uh, build import section where you can uh, build in, uh, load in other people's builds. And then thirdly, that it offers a sandbox passive tree that you can really mess around and see what you can get out of the passive tree. So here's the link. Uh, it's going to be down in the more info uh, at the bottom of the YouTube clip. So if you'd like to go and download it from GitHub there. So this is Path of Building. Path of Building is a sandbox uh, theory crafting tool that you can use offline. You don't have to be online. It's a standalone program. So it runs on its own. It's a really great and well put together program. And it's also incredibly well uh, updated. And I would highly recommend that you click the uh, Patreon button if you do use uh, Path of Building and you support the development of this because this tool is seriously the best sandbox theory crafting tool available right now and it's done pretty much um open source in in relation to the development of it i mean the the guys that the team that puts this together um, really takes feedback from the community and takes feedback from anybody that wants to give feedback uh, and help out with it. So it's a really, really awesome um, platform and it's a really, really awesome idea that gets updated regularly. Okay, so let's take a look at the accurate DPS calculation. So if we go to an import, uh, an imported build, so if we just look at any of the builds that we've got here, we can pull up my uh, my max block uh, gladiator and we want to go check out hey how much damage does my main skill do so you can go over here to the calculation screen which is in the top left hand side and you can simply select any of the skill gems that you've got already on your build uh, that your character actually has now you can look here and see there's all these little tabs that you can either subtract hey I don't want to see all this stuff. Or you can expand it because you want all of these various little stats that you want to be able to track and see exactly what your character is capable of and exactly what they are doing. Uh, it is so super duper helpful to be able to look at all of this information. So if you want to learn, uh, hey, how much life leech do I have? Hey, how much um, mana am I returning back per hit? Hey, what's my chance to bleed? Uh, what's my attack rate? Uh, am I actually hitting some stuff quickly? Hey, what's my accuracy? Um, hey, what's the duration of effects that I'm doing? Uh, hey, are there status ailments that I have a chance to do uh, when I'm attacking? All of this stuff is built into this DPS calculator, which is incredibly adjustable. You can calculate the effective DPS, which uh, shows you right here. This controls the calculation of the stats shown. Unbuffed um, shows no auras, buffs, or other support skills uh, or effects will apply. Buffed is a selection that aura and buff skills may apply. Uh, in combat, ch uh, so this counts charges and combat buffs such as onslaught, frenzy, power charges, etc. And then effective DPS, um, which curses an enemy property such as resistance and status conditions, also apply. So this basically estimates your true DPS when you're out running around hitting stuff. And you can see here that it's going to show you your main skill. So main skill right now on uh, my character for Blade Flurry is uh, 279,000 uh, DPS. If you flip that over to my Blade Vortex, which is just something that I'm leveling, um, so you can see over here on the left-hand side what the actual DPS is, and here in the middle is wh where all these calculations come. So it's really nice. You can kind of compare, like over here on the left, uh, you see it's, what is that, 34,000 for Blade Flurry, and when you look up here, Blade Vortex, everything changes to 139 average damage. And on the left, when you change the Blade uh, Vortex, hey, same thing, 139 uh, average damage. So you can really change the way how things look and are calculated depending on what you're looking at. Um, for weapons or for attacks like Blade Flurry that have two, two different sections or two different types of damage that go on, actually the continuous hit uh, as you are channeling the skill and then released at six stages uh, is another option. You can actually see the different DPS that you're doing. 
So this is how people actually calculate, um, hey, it's better to uh, attack with this skill twice and then reset it. Or this is why it's better to simply channel your skill like Scorching Ray. Um, or this is better why, uh, or, or this is a reason why um, with a skill like Blade Flurry where you want to channel it and get to your max six and then release. Like you can calculate all of these different effects um, that your attack or that your spells do right here inside the calculation tool in Path of Building. So the second thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to talk about the import uh, skill tree. So this calculation, again, can't speak highly enough of it. It's awesome. You can go in and tweak all that. There's other content creators that have done a better job showing that, so I don't want to do that. But I just want to get you introduced to it to tease it to at least say, hey, consider downloading this. It's a free program. But again, uh, just the calculator alone is really worth the Patreon. When I first started playing Path of Exile, the very first class that I picked up and loved was the Witch. And I loved using Summon um, Raging Spirits. It was awesome. It's a honing skill. There, it used to be that you could summon 50 of them. So you just fill your screen with these guys. And the tooltip DPS was always broken in game. Uh, Path of Building really goes in and calculates all these various effects that are going on and really explains the mechanics that are going on as your character is dealing damage. So it's awesome uh, to look at the calculations. Okay, moving on to the import export of builds. You can see here we've got loaded up uh, one of our Patreon supporters, Crispian. So you can actually enter another character's account name, and then you can grab all of their account uh, characters as long as their account characters are shared. In other words, if they're not set to private. And then you can go and you can look and you can see, hey, we've got a level 2 Marauder, we've got a level 40 Marauder, we've got a level 3 Duelist, uh, and then we've got a level 88 Elementalist. So depending on the character that you want to import from, so let's say you know the uh, name of a uh, top racer. So... Let's go and do that. Let's go and look up Path of Exile Incursion Ladder. And let's look up some of the top players in the Incursion League. All right, here is Cool Tail. We're going to go take a look at him and look at his dead eye. So we're going to go to our character import, copy and paste his name, and we're going to see if his character list is open. And look at that. It is. Now he's got a bunch of level 100s in standard. But if we want to jump over to Incursion, here's his level 100 Deadeye. Now we want to import his passive tree as well as his items and skills. Then we're going to click Done. Now, when we go over here to the calculations, whoops, when we go over here to the items, we can say, hey, look, here's all of his stuff. He's got a Windripper, a Rigwalds, a Light Poacher. Here's an awesome rare jewel, awesome rare jewel, Greed's Embrace. Uh, Side of Mistouch, Goldworm, like this is all really, really awesome stuff um, that he is running, which is really, really cool. Uh, when we want to go over here to, uh, do, 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 where is it? His attacks. Boom. Here's his attacks. Wow, his DPS is 53,000 DPS on his tornado shot. That's really, really cool. When we want to go take a look at his tree, bada boom, we can go and take a look at his tree. All of this is all from the import function and it's all off of Cooltail. Again, Cooltail being the player that is number one rank in uh, Incursion for getting, uh, or at least on the display list when you're looking uh, at the Incursion, he's number one. Which is awesome. So you can go and import anyone's build that you'd like. If you've got a friend that you're helping teach Path of Exile and you want to go take a look at what their build is, as long as their character uh, is set to public, uh, as long as their profile is set to public, you can simply type in their account name and it's going to generate this character list and you can go and grab whatever character it is that they're looking at and you can go in and you can help them out. You can select what main skill they're doing, what their DPS looks like, what their tree looks like, and whether or not they're playing the game efficiently or if you've got tips for them. Those of you uh, that have uh, that are Patreon supporters, a couple of you know uh, that we've done some Patreon support build videos. Uh, I, one of the things that I do is I use Path of Building uh, to go in and look at people's character sheets, uh, their passive tree, their calculations, in order to see, hey, where does somebody have room to improve? Just because all the information about their character is right here and readily available in Path of Building. So those were the first two things to chat about, accurate DPS calculations and character imports. And then the last thing is that Path of Building offers a sandbox passive tree. So we're looking at this passive tree right here from this level 100 Deadeye that's ranked number one right now in Incursion League. Here's what's awesome about this. If at any point in time we want to change this, we can simply click anywhere on the passive tree and it's going to tell us, hey, if we unallocate this one particular spot, all of the things that are lit up in red are going to be reductions in stats all of the things lit up in green are going to be additions. So if we take away this particular tree, 
this particular one point, you see how that took away the rest of the tree? That's awesome. You can also hit Control Z just as you would in any Word program or any Google document in order to undo what it was that you just did. So if you make a mistake, you know, say, oh no, I got rid of half of my tree. Oh no, I got rid of my whole tree. You can just undo that, which is really, really awesome. So if you're, as you're playing around, if you want to play with passive points, you can do that. Now, if you want to start an entirely new tree, simply go all the way back to the front, click new, and then you are ready to go. As soon as you start scrolling over different things on the tree, it's going to automatically show you the least amount of nodes that are going to be taken. So if we create this character that we are working on right now, where we said, hey, let's create a new build. We're going to create somebody that's going to start over here as a scion in our configuration. And as you can see on the tree, as soon as we clicked combat stamina, it said, hey, here's the shortest route to go. If you select as a character that you'd like to be, I don't know, start out as a, let's say you start out as a witch, then you can certainly do that. Up here at the top, simply select witch. Now that we're a witch, anywhere that we click, it's going to show the shortest distance from the last previous uh, skill point that we've put onto the tree such that you can really start to customize and simply click around the whole tree and see, hey, what's the most efficient way for me to get to various nodes that I'm looking out? Which is really, really awesome because there are a lot of you out there as you're starting out in Path of Exile, you're building your own trees or you're following other trees and you're wondering, hey, why is it that somebody takes a particular route? Um, there was a buddy of mine that uh, we were looking through his build a couple of weeks ago and he was going crit. Uh, he was going crit, and so he had a bunch of nodes over here towards the shadow tree, towards the shadow side of the uh, passive tree. And uh, it was 28 total nodes that he had spent to come over here and get crit. And what we found out through Path of Building was that if he took Elemental Overload, even though he wouldn't crit and get the crit multiplier from that, that if he got rid of 28 passive nodes coming over here, if he just went uh, two off because he was over here at Mind Over Mana already. So if he put one, two, three passive points in, which would be a grand total of 25 extra passive points that he'd have, uh, he would only lose 3k damage on his endgame build. Uh, on average was 3k DPS. Like It was ridiculous and it really blew his mind to go, wow, I have 25 extra passive points to spend on the passive tree. What am I going to go do now? So those sorts of things uh, are calculatable right here inside Path of Building. So for a lot of you that are looking uh, for a hypothetical build tool or a sandbox tool where you can go in and mess around and really see what the options are and what you can do with the passive tree, what you can do with calculating your DPS, or what you can do and see what other players are doing, Path of Building offers all of that. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, we come out with daily POE content. If you'd like to support the channel, you can always go check out our Patreon. More of that info is down below. Thanks as always for watching and stay tuned for more POE content.